Yeah. Good job. All the meeting to order. The first item will be the adoption of the agenda. Before we adopt the agenda, we need to move four down under seven. We'll run through the regular meeting, and then we'll go on the tour. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Okay, the agenda is adopted. Minutes for meeting February 13th. Everybody's <coughs> read them. Any additions or corrections? I make a motion with me. Uh, approve. I have a motion second. and a second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, any old business? Seeing none, we'll move right along. Any new business? I've got just one thing. Uh, there was no planning board this month, so we don't have anything from that. And I'm lost us in the middle of reorganizing, so I don't know when <clears throat> when we're going to do that. That's all I have. Any other new business? Yeah, uh, Mr. Chairman, if none of the members have anything, um, just as a while ago I discussed as a uh, kind of an update. Uh, as far as uh, like main main breaks and stuff, uh, that's somewhat calmed down for right now. Um, have a few service leaks, no major leaks. We do have one major sewer repair that's ongoing right now tonight as we speak. So once we're done here, I'll be going to that one. Uh, but in the future, moving forward, I'll be kind of updating on a monthly basis uh, <coughs> number of main leaks for the month, the previous month, or service leaks and uh, that type of stuff. Uh, as far as the grease report, there will be no grease report tonight. Um, we're kind of, as you know, uh, Brian has left us, and uh, we're in the process of filling that position. And we're going to essentially be kind of starting over. So we'll be bringing you new information starting in the uh, April meeting. <clears throat> Just uh, food for thought. Uh, last quarter, you know, we, we degreased the large major lift stations quarterly. Uh, last quarter, we removed... 44.8 tons of grease um, and at, at the landfill. That's a tipping fee of about $2,500. Uh, so we'll see if that's the average. Um, and we'll just go around. We put it out at the <coughs> Hunters Creek drying bed. We have a deal worked out with Onwasa. And then from there, once it dries out sufficiently, we'll load it up and haul it to the landfill and pay the tipping fees accordingly and gauge it by that. So we'll see if that's average or not. Um, so, but that's a interesting. I don't if, know if it's interesting or not. Is that a new grease trap out there at the landfill? When I said new, is that the same one that's always been there? A uh, grease trap at the landfill. Is that what you were referring to? Uh, no, it's the, when the grease we remove from our lift stations on oh. a quarterly basis. We take it, let it dry out. Okay, the old okay. on drying I was thinking on the one out at the uh, landfill. Oh no, sir, that's that's existing. That's, that's old. Because I, I remember looking at that and that looked really gross and it just made up my mind. <laughs> <laughs> just have all of that right. debris and stuff like that. But that's, that's pretty much it as far as that goes. But if there's any information that you may be curious about uh, or not are interested in that you want to know on a monthly basis, if you can just let Wally know or, or Terry, you will get it back to me. You can call me directly. I don't care. Uh, and I'll get it and I'll put it in some type of uh, format for you. and submitted on a monthly basis. Pete, the else. place where will you pay to have the guy to come put that special stuff in there? Yes, sir. How's that How's that doing? Uh, that pilot project is ending. Um, yeah, I, I know. It, it seems it was working to a certain extent, but Wally and I discussed, we don't know the long-term downrange effects. If it makes it all the way out to the land treatment site, and if it gets on the ground, if it's going to affect the, you know, the ground from absorbing in the, the, the uh, treated wastewater. So, you know, without knowing the long-term effects, we're going to end that pilot program. Um, it was keeping the station clean. There's no question about that. Okay, uh, but our concern is long-term downrange effects. So until we know more <coughs> than that, we'll suspend that project. Yeah, at Greece has got to go somewhere. Yes, sir. It doesn't just disappear. Yeah. So. The amount of grease you collected, does that seem like a large amount to you, or do you have any way of knowing? 44.8 tons. No, I mean that's a large amount of grease, but do you know, like, comparably? Um, it seems to be, well, this 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 time they did it, they're doing it in the process of doing that. They did Bryn Mawr, and the guy said it seemed like it was less um, this time than it was last time. Mm -hmm. However, they moved to Ellis, and they're taking two days longer. Uh, so you win one, you lose on the other. So it's, it's probably going to be about average. Um, 
And again, it's a matter of where do we want to remove it from the system at. Uh, I want to get out as quickly as I can. Mm -hmm. You know, it doesn't make sense to send it all the way to LTS. Right. They, don't, they don't have any place to, that they can burn that to make electricity or anything with you that you know of? Not that I'm aware of, sir. What's the volume of 44 tons? Uh, well, a, t a ton obviously is 2,000 pounds, so, and that is roughly... Um, a cubic yard is 2,700 pounds, so you're a little less than a cubic yard. So you're looking 20, roughly, I don't know, quick math, 22, 23 cubic yards, which is probably more than you get in this room. Yeah. yeah. So well, you mentioned too, it's got to dry out, so yes, there's sir. a water component to yes, that. Too. The, I mean, obviously, the wetter it is, the heavier it is, the more we're going to pay. So right. if it can dry out. Um, but I'm saying your 44 tons had a lot of had some water in it too. Then so. Yeah, so if you're letting it dry out, right? Saying, so. It wasn't. I mean, it wasn't dripping wet. We can't take it as dripping wet, but it did have some moisture in it. So. I was wondering, like compared to other systems, the same size as ours. We've never run that comparison. Okay, I was just um, wondering. If you we can. I can cities. research it with other pretreatment people do, and and how they take care of it. It's not that hard to find out. Okay. So there is nothing that comes from the, the landfill that can be recycled. I mean, it seemed like it, at one time it was something being uh, dried out and uh, put on the field. I'm trying to remember what that was. Um, that was it, it can the be sludge. the sludge. The sludge. Right. sludge. The sludge. Okay. Like when we move from the, removed from the lagoons at the uh, right, right, water plant, right, okay. that can be field applied and turned under. Um, but this right, is, right. This is your, non, your non degradable solids. Are we still doing that? Uh, well, it's coming up in the in the, in the new budget, FY15 budget. So what happened million. to the sludge? The sludge is right now is sitting in the lagoons. We haven't removed it in three years. Uh, so there's a upcoming in the budget a departmental <coughs> issue form for council to decide on um, to the tune of about $330,000 for sludge removal. And obviously, the longer we wait, the more it's going to cost. Wasn't there a talk a while back ago about doing something with selling it to somebody in Wilmington or something? Remember that? I do not recall that. <coughs> I think it was almost reversed. It was where we were going to take something from we, Wilmington or something. Right. There was, we were, we were approached by Waste Management or Waste Industries, I don't remember which, to take their, their leachate or whatever, their runoff. But I don't remember a selling sludge. I thought there was something about the green. Some may be wrong. I'll look back. <coughs> There's a company down here. Converts <coughs> grease to diesel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Biofuels. Yeah. Like we are going to have a tour here. When the weather clear up, can we have another tour out at the uh, landfill? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. So I imagine there's been a lot of changes since we've been out there lately. Because we haven't been out there in what, two, three years? Uh, we, can, uh, we could actually, I mean, if Wally's okay, we, we could host a meeting at the land treatment and the admin building one, one evening. I think this, we'll do something very similar to what we're doing here, and we'll do one out there. The thought was we'll wait for daylight to get a little longer because obviously much of the tour would be outside there. And the weather will be better. And, and the weather will be better. Yes, yeah. sir. Yeah. Anybody else have anything to speak? <coughs> Any more old business, new business, anything anybody want to say before we go on a tour? We'll entertain a motion to adjourn to go on our tour. So move. Second. 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 All those in favor? Aye. Aye. You are adjourned. <laughs>